Bows. 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 Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big, big sh- it's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECEO. And I'm Money Most by the way. And we creating content every damn day. Check it, man. We got a special guest, man. We got my boy Dero. He in the building, baby. Uh-huh. Yay, yeah, hey, man. So, hey, man, I, I'm going to be honest with you, man. This this cat right here, he a rapper. That's why we bring him man, on. Man, I'm not a rapper. Mm-hmm. Stop saying this. <laughs> yeah. I'm not a rapper. Got, most most people question. that say they ain't rappers be the, be the rappers, hey, man. Did, did I don't. He, didn't he just, I say, didn't you see the song? A, I'm not a when rapper. When did he drop it? When did he show you he was a rapper? Today. Whoa! Oh, he birthing this up now. Okay, no, okay. I ain't birthed nothing. I just had some old stuff back in the day that just hurt. Just out of oh, oh, you so you been a rapper? I, I know for a fact that whatever I would put out, it would win because it went with the shit that was going on. You I don't make songs just because. I don't make songs just, yeah. make song just because. I make sound make sound just because it's going on with the lifestyle, what's happening in life. In but the, the road music is in the building, man. So I'm gonna hold, I, on, I, hold on, hold on, hold on. He look like Earl Spence too. Oh, wow, you think man. so? He ain't. You yeah, got what, to what, go. Crabtree, Michael Crabtree, always be trying to score and say, "Man, Earl look like." <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> nah, nah, I don't see that. But, nah, but shout out to Earl. Though. Shout like out to Earl, Earl man. Spence, that's man. So, so let me ask you this question, man, because I, 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 I gotta bring this up while you here, since he your number one, Mo three, man. I seen you last time. I seen you. I was. He I was three, not one. Whatever, Mo3, man. Check it, man. This guy right here, you was with Mo3. Yeah. It was you, Mo3, and Watts. Because I know Watts. Mm. And y'all was doing so. I guess Watts do some engineering. Oh, uh, B Watts. Yeah, B Watts. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, shout out to B Watts. Shout and I, can't, B-Watts. I can't find you, nigga. You ain't on. You, you change your number on Hey, B Watts be disappearing and reappearing. Yeah. B Watts went to Lancaster with me and PV. Oh, B Watts told me <laughs> some things, man. B Watts said he did a lot of engineering on that, yeah, on that nah, music, he did. man. He did. Yeah. He, 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 matter of fact, he recorded the song. Me, the two songs me and Mo3 did. Yeah, remember, I, yeah, 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 I remember. Yeah, yeah. We was, watched recorded them. I, y'all was in the studio. Uh, oh, man. you was there? No, oh. no, I wasn't there. Oh, okay. I just watched y'all real close. Man, I loved music. I okay. wasn't gonna let okay. that get away, man. Yeah. Me and Watts already had linked up, so when I seen it, I said, man, I'm glad that, you know, y'all y'all putting something together. Hell, that's what I be looking at. Mm-hmm. So that was a special night, especially now, man, with that, uh, you know, untimely demise, to be honest with you. Yeah. Uh, I think I heard you say something about you glad that you got to, you know, really give him his roses while he was here to do mm-hmm. something with him. I, I, I yeah. see what you said. Nah, that. man, three talked all the time, personally. Like, you know, three will pull up on me all the time. I can't tell you how many times three pulled up on me. I'd be at the W because I was standing at the W for a little while. You pull up on me there. You know what I'm saying? He will always ask. Like, I, I remember linking him with the studio that he ended up recording at Legacy. I linked him with a lot of stuff. I, I remember, you know, uh, linking him with, like, Jeff Adair. Yeah. While back, I remember uh, he came to me. He was trying to he was trying to uh, 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 distribute his music on his own. I was telling him how to use TuneCore and how to just be independent and do yeah. that stuff. So he would pull up on me and stuff like that sometime. We we ran into each other a lot, you know what I'm saying, uh, you know, a month before you know, he passed. We 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 was on the, we was on the same flight to Las Vegas. We was okay. on the flight. You know what I'm saying, sitting right by each other. You know what I'm saying, he was sitting in the seat behind me. You know him and Rainwater. Uh, you know, uh, and that was the last time we saw each other. But wow. we talked all the time. And I remember when he did that show at House of Blues. And uh, you know what I'm saying, he he packed out the House of Blues. That's when I hit him. I remember texting him. I was just like, that's when I told him he was doing his thing. You know what I'm yeah. saying. I was proud to see that. You feel me? And I, and that's when I. Personally gave him his flowers just to, you know, hit him up like that. Yeah. And uh, then, you know, uh, w- one time at the car show, he couldn't perform. It-, it wasn't that he couldn't perform. It's that he had stuff going on. So they gave him like a super early slot at the 99- 97 9 to yeah, be car show. That. I remember that. So, so it, 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 that, yeah. So it, at he this time, to. it's nobody there. And, and wow. it's not, you know what I'm saying, to do Mo 3, like he, I mean, he popping at this time. It's yeah. not the early Mo 3. No, just he he should have been in the middle of the, the show, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So when they did him like that, he reached out to me and that told me about it. And I was just like, hey, you know what I'm saying? They going to let me do my thing, I, you know what I'm saying, at the car show. I say, so look, I'll bring you out in the middle of my set and you just cool. do do what do your thing. He ended up doing like a full set in the middle of my set, you know what I'm saying? But I knew the city, I knew the city yeah. wanted that. You feel me? Like, and I knew he, had, he that's where he was supposed to be anyway. So it didn't really feel like that was something I was just doing. I was doing it. I was just like, this is what's supposed to happen. You feel me? I don't yeah. know why they had him right there anyway. So yeah. you know, and he was real appreciative appreciative of that, you feel me? Uh so, you know, I liked the three from the jump. Three was the first rapper in Dallas to ever Come and embrace me, like to come at the Boosie uh, Badass uh, 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 Balling for Diabetes game. I think it was like 2015, where me and three met. Mo three came to me, and he, you know, what I'm saying he 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 really 
he really big me up and told me how much he fucked with me and, and you know what I'm saying we locked in and he just did a lot of stuff that at the time most people from Dallas wouldn't do with other rappers you know okay. what I'm saying mm-hmm. so when he did that it made me look at three different you know what I'm saying yeah. just from the jump I heard that a lot about him like he yeah. do it everywhere like yeah, he, go, he like that. Like he embraced, he embraced his own city. Like he wanted everybody to be together. Yeah, yeah. Um, like he, he wasn't on no, 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 no hater shit at nah, all. You wasn't. feel me? And he was the really the first one to come to me like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Most of the time, it, you know, it just wasn't like that. So I, I saw something different right then. Plus, I had already just caught wind of, uh, you know, what I'm saying of his music right around that same time too. Prior before, I remember one time Rainwater ran to me at Southwest, South by Southwest, and told me he was managing somebody named Mo Three and how he should go about doing that. And then you know I started. That's when I started tuning in wow. the Mo Three, and that was like a couple months before this happened. So it started happening. And then once, so once we locked in, you know, he was already a favorite of mine just for that. And then I saw his growth through the music. So you know, I like that's I like love. I like the three a lot. You know that's, what I'm saying? That's so I'm much like, love. The the yeah. thing. You know, I'm going to let you ask a question because you look like you got something you want to say. Well, what I was going to say is, you know, when Boosie first came home, that video y'all did when he had that white on and he had that white on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, nigga, I don't think, I don't remember, nigga. (laughs) I'm I'm tuned in. Yeah, shout out to Boosie for that, man. Yeah, he did. Remember that that was early on? He had just come home. He he had just came home. That was the first thing we did. You know what's crazy? So right before he got locked up. That's his number two. No, I'm, I'm going through his okay. top three. Okay, so right before, Louisiana, so. right before, right <laughs> before the week Boosie got locked up for that that long stint he did. That what I think it was like four years or whatever, or however long that was he did. Yeah. That same week I was at his crib in Laos, uh, in Louisiana, Louisiana, in Baton Rouge, in Baton Rouge. I was at his house and we was work, we was working on some stuff that ended up getting the computer got took because when the feds raided. His it was it was probably some days late and what was messed up is I remember leaving this crib it was late and I was tired and I was just like I should probably get these files from the session Damn. but I was like man I can just I gotta get them up <laughs> you know what I'm saying I was just like I can get them anytime and I didn't get them and three days later he his place got raided they Bang. took everything computer never gave it back wow. so never got to put it in that stuff he had did like a remix to ice cream paint job. It was another Ooh. record we did. Like it was just stuff he. I, think and, I heard him saying that he's gonna do a remix to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, 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 and oh, it's crazy because it's crazy how Boosie and Three linked up and how they were and then how we were. Because Boosie was the first national artist or uh, in the industry period to embrace me. Like on tour, wow. we went on tour and Boosie came up to me and just you know showed me he was rocking. Wow, nobody wasn't. had done that. Nobody What's in the up, industry. Man? Yeah, yeah like no, I, I was always the one either approaching them or somebody would introduce us. But Boosie walked Boosie up to walked me, up boom, you. you know what I'm saying. So it was the same way th- three was, you know what I'm saying. So when I saw them link up, I I, I liked, you liked that, it, you know that. what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, now nah, so when Boosie got locked up, I was I was I was like, damn, we didn't get to put the music out. But when as soon as he got out, you know what I'm saying, I, I got in contact with my. I think I think he might have hit the same no something, but as soon as he got out, we talked like maybe the same week, and he was just like, "Hey, what's up, young dude?" I, I was like, "I got a record ready for you right now." It was built the block, he hopped right on it. Then we ended up shooting a video. He came to Dallas, you know what I'm saying, on his own. We shot the video. He just showed love, and we he stayed coming to Dallas. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. No, he was you know doing that early on. Yeah, exactly. That's how exactly. that's he loved Dallas. But the yeah. thing is, uh, so with all the stuff that happened in Dallas throughout the last, uh, you know, however long it's been. Um, how do you see us getting past all of this and just because we already moving forward, you know, time yeah. heals different things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But bridging those gaps, you know what I mean? Like I said, I, I see a lot of stand up dudes that's that's really you see some young dudes just uh, just yeah. rapping. And and so it's a lot of people trying, but the city still need healing, man. What do you think? We just got to work. It, it, time heals out, but you got to work and you got to learn from everything that happened. You yeah. feel me? You got to learn from it, you know, uh. And it's it's a lot of things that done came over the city that's out. So even like, cause Nipsey Hustle, that was a homie. And that was when a he, homie. And yeah, one yeah, thing I about one thing about Nipsey when he did pass, his energy went. It, it, it changed. He changed. Nipsey changed a lot in, in yeah, hip hop, even it, yeah. here in tech, everywhere. Yeah, yeah. To where you see a lot of the people took on a lot of different mentality to be on some. You know, uh, uh, community hip and stuff, and that, and 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 you know the stuff that he was on. A lot of people out here in Dallas was influenced by that. Mm-hmm. I saw that, you know, firsthand. Mm-hmm. Uh, with the three situation, you know, it's a situation we, you know, the city got to learn from. You know, yeah. you, that's the yeah. only thing you can do. From Is it, it a negative energy? Because when I talked to Don Chief, he was like, it put eyes on the city. It, 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 it did. It, it put it put eyes on the city in a in a negative, negative way, way. But, but also in a positive way too. In one way because. I mean, Mo3 blew up worldwide 
through his debt, unfortunately. You know what yep. I'm saying? And he was going there anyway, so it ain't like that wasn't gonna happen. Yeah. He was out he was he was his next step was into the big light. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that that would have happened regardless. Yeah. It wouldn't have took him passing for that to happen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So he yeah, was, was on it. Yeah, that was happening, you know, regardless. But when that happened, that happened. And uh I mean at the end of the day, Mo Three made a lot of good music. You know, it was he was on his own topic and on his own energy, but to say Anything, nonetheless, it was it was good music. Like as yeah. far as just the craft of the music, yeah. the rapping, oh, yeah. the flow, the melodies, together. the thing. He, he, he put it together. Yeah, how he put it together out it. You feel me? He brought I like, that. I, I so like a lot it. of a lot of light got shed on that 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 is credited to the city of Dallas that Mo Three gave. So you know, it's, it's a lot of ways to look at it. Is it's, overall, it's unfortunate. It's, it's very it's, unfortunate. You know, the thing is, you know, like I said, everybody, when you see two people coming up, like Yella and Mo was coming up at the same time, O3, and when you start seeing that, you do make comparisons yeah, cool and all that. Yeah. yeah, like, so, yeah, man, 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 Yella knew, all of us knew, me and Trap did, we got records out, we got, me and Trap got a record out, we did one that we didn't put out, you know what I'm saying, we got cool through Michael Crabtree, okay. you know what I'm saying, he linked us, and we, we, that, I like that. At one point, all of them was rocking. I you know, know, what I'm so I know that's, that. that's what you know. Yeah. What I'm saying it's crazy. Uh, it's just man, y'all never did no record, but you know, we we you know what I'm saying like our baby mama's like best friends. And oh shit, yeah. So we we been check it. You man. know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's on some Dallas. We just kind of always been aware of each other. We yeah. we we, we talked a lot. You know, a few times or whatever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But uh, as far as just that whole situation, that was, was just, just an unfortunate, unfortunate situation, situation, man. man. Yeah. So what um. Don Chief, you, he was on your first ice cream paint job video, nigga. Yeah, yeah. How the too, hell man. y'all get so close and talking all the time? Cause Don came over here. He yeah. real fly, man. I like this dude, Chief. man. When I first came out, huh? Chief, he calm. He yeah, calm yeah. as hell, yeah, man. Yeah. When I first came out, Chief was he was already in the you know in a Bentley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was a nigga. With, he was a nigga with the money. You know what I'm saying? Like I remember pulling up the big T. We was doing something up there. And I was just always the nigga that was on the grind, you feel me? Yeah. And, and Big Chief was already in the Maserati. Still with that, that same stuff. demeanor. Was, yeah, yeah, he was still, he was the same Chief, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so he was already there, you feel me? But, but you know, it was, Chief, he, you know, he, 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 he embraced too. Like a lot of people, when you first coming in, especially in Dallas, you're going to get either deflected some yeah. kind of way, even yeah. if, mm-hmm. even if it ain't aggressive or directly, it's just sometimes people ain't going to just fuck with you. He, Chief wasn't necessarily that, you feel me? Especially during that time, so... It was just like at this time, this when the whole movement was starting to happen, and Chief was the only one not associated with the quote unquote dance boogie movement. Correct. And see, I wasn't even no boogie. I, I didn't make. I just my music came up through it. I just I saw what was going on, and I was able to just use the boogie movement. Yeah. yeah. And fuck with it too. Like yeah. I like rapping on a boogie bo- beats, yeah. but I didn't necessarily make dance music. Like, yeah. I didn't have no do to this, this and that. Even walk that walk was just. I was talking about females. They made a dance to it. <laughs> I never made a dance song, so I was in between the the, the thing movement. And Chief was on the outside of it. You know, he wasn't with that shit at all. Like, I don't think Chief rocked with the. At that time, I don't think Chief was fucking with the shit. I didn't give a fuck. I was just like, it's Dallas. It is our sound. I went to PV, yeah. so I, I saw everything. You seen the movement to yeah, it I anyway. I saw the whole, in, first, in real life. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Frankie and all of them were coming out come while you doing yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, Frankie, they was down at PV too. That's another one. Yeah, the <laughs> PV was that. You feel me? So, you know, during that time, you know, yeah, that's how me and Chief got, and we ended up, start, we started it, doing music, you know what I'm saying, and then, you know what I'm saying, I think, uh, me and Chief always somehow end up getting tied back together, because that's I remember, baby, man, I seen Baby yeah, doing yeah, this yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, so Baby, yeah, Baby, we end up doing a record, and then Chief, we end up getting tied in, and then, I had like a chick, I had an ex-girl, ended up being Big Chief cousin, you know, we pull up to one of the functions, and Big Chief, she like, this is my cousin, I'm like, Chief, your cousin, we pull up, we in heat air and shit. I'm like, somehow, me and Big Chief always, always get linked up on some, on some, you know what I'm saying? So, y'all did, when y'all did that, what was that, 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 when y'all standing out there, we say the lights, the city. Triple D Anthem. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, you should have yeah, 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 Y'all did yeah, what you hit on that. Yeah, yeah, I feel like that song to this yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, man. I, I was glad Chief threw me on that, you know what I'm saying? Because Chief, at, at some point, like during that time before that, Chief, I ain't gonna say Chief fell out. I, I don't know. Chief wasn't rocking with, with with me because of the book. Daddy's moving for a little bit. I don't know what it was. I don't know what it was. But then I stayed at the Mosaic, and, and, and but I, I will say Chief a stand up nigga because what what a lot of niggas won't do is like say if I if I if I do something where I feel like I was wrong, niggas won't say that. They won't come embrace. Chief yeah. came. I was at the Mosaic. He was at the Mosaic. 
And, uh, you know, he came down the suite one time and we just chopped up. And he was wow. just like, man, you know, I, I came at this situation wrong. This is boom, boom. And I respected that because nobody don't do that type shit. Like, especially from Dallas. Yeah. Like, we the most ego, you know what I'm saying? It's an ego in Dallas. Like, it's a certain type of demeanor that the average person picks up. And it's just because that's in the city atmosphere. So, niggas don't do that in Dallas. And when Chief did that, I respect him more. Then we did the... Triple D anthem after that, he threw me on there. We did like a couple other records, and I love that Triple D anthem. Man, that thing went hard. That thing went hard, man. Yeah, yeah, it still do. You was on, you went on one hundred six in Park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But then I, I, it was you. You went on one hundred six in Park. I heard Puka Leroy mention on one hundred six in Park one time that bus. Yeah, there's only been a few of y'all. Who yeah. else? Am I See, missing? I, I, am I missing somebody? Uh, I, I can't even really remember. I, I just know I, I did one hundred six in Park. Just them, just y'all like too. Five times. Oh, you were killing. Yeah, yeah. And then I was in front of the TV. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't. Yeah, I think I can't really think. I think of you and Puka are the only think, two uh, niggas that I seen do that. It was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Out of yeah. Dallas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't seen nobody unless it, you it, know. I, I'm, I'm trying, trying to think. think. I'm trying to think of the. I think the GS boys might have went on that. With yeah, the the G, yeah, yeah, because because old boy Prince was here and he said yeah, that he won a BET award. No, no. Yeah, he won uh -huh, halfway. He almost won a BET oh, yeah, award. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were dancing on that thing. So yeah, they yeah, was they on they they them the three. Yeah, they had the, the stanky leg. Yeah, they were doing leg. Yeah, they was there. Some girls come on stage with them. Yeah, so they was on there. Yeah, I think those three. I think those. I just be thinking about the history. I like the history of how we came into play. Yeah, I think Michelle fell on there. Michelle, who? Michelle, Michelle would be on say Neil. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. What the? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, no, I was watching, man. Oh, you were a kid, man. Hey, you were young. I still watching it though. Oh, okay. Yeah. It came I'm on just telling you the four. epic moments, man. The role is on there, nigga. Because I was team, you know, Dallas. So when I when I see something, I'll be like, oh yeah, we in there, man. You know, it's we, nigga. I'm there with you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Watch nah, this. I remember that. I remember that. That was, that was a good time, man. I, uh, I, how did you like it? How was the I set? I ain't never been. So what was, the, what was it like? So man? you was crazy. So you go in there. It's real. You get your dressing room. You go in this little small space. You get your dressing room. The actual set is real small. Actually, it ain't nothing like how you, like think. you see it. But when you go out there, you can that energy there. It was just like I remember the first time I went on there. I was just like, damn, this shit. I'm here. I'm here. Then I kept Going and then, then like the last time I went, Nicki Minaj brought me out. Yeah, out of here, man. Yeah, yeah. She 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 announced me out. Like I was doing some type of special. Yeah, and I was I was either going out there to perform. Oh, I was going to perform. It was a New Year special. That's that what is. it was. And they brought out everybody who had the big record side, and I had like the biggest one on one hundred six report. Oh man! And Nicki Minaj was the host that they used like her for the host at this time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because she, she brought, wasn't that same Nicki she is now. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, she was coming. They was you know they was blowing was up. Flying. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. She had brought me out, you know. I remember she said my name wrong, but I didn't, I didn't I give a fuck. I think it was like Young Young Guns and uh, uh, Lil Wayne when he when that uh, he was rapping. It was at uh, uh, Peter Guns. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Uh, that that song they had. I seen that on one hundred six. I'm just thinking back. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah it was yeah, on yeah. a New Year's special back. too. I just think about years it. Years ago. Yeah, nigga, you young man. man just I, ride, I, I was nigga, just ride, nigga. The nigga was on there. <laughs> I was still watching. Like, so damn, what's older than me? I, I don't know. Man, I just know that nigga, nigga was young and up on that stage. She's not that much older than me. It was, yeah, it was it was crazy during that time. One hundred six and part was probably one of my favorite times of like all that. You know, Lil Bow Wow was up there. Yeah, Bow Wow. That nigga well, frequented. Yeah, he, he, frequented. He, started, he started hosting it. <laughs> yeah, like, towards the end, I remember. Uh, yeah, cause when I when That's I first went, it was it was, it was Roxy and Terrence. Yeah, you know give me a give me a AJ and Free. Wasn't it? Huh? Wasn't it AJ and Free AJ first? And Not, yeah, but I wouldn't. He didn't see that. He was with Terrence. Yeah, I don't know nobody though. Yeah, Eddie Murphy was uh with Roxy at the end. Yeah, nigga, I heard about it. Yeah, nah, but yeah, by the time I got on there, it was Terrence and Roxy. Yeah, Terrence and Roxy. Yeah, but so so what would you say to a young guy, man, trying to get in the music industry today, man, with your business savvy? You know, kind of how would what would you tell him? He he's 16, 15 years old. What would you tell him to, to do to kind of keep himself relevant, or how would he go about it? Man, it, as cliche as it sounds, man, nothing still wins uh, bigger than originality. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And to be honest with you, when you think about even a Dallas artist, they won by being from Dallas. When you talk about a Mo3, when yeah. you talk about a Myself, uh, when you talk about a, if you want to yell and trap, they, they, they're, you know what I'm saying? They won from being from uh, Dallas. Who the last person that came out of Houston with original? It only been two. Uh, I mean, you could say Megan Thee Stallion, but because she the first female Texas rapper, when I really think about it. But Sauce Walker and Beat King, yeah, they don't. Everybody else, you got a lot of people coming out of both these cities, but it's it's so intertwined with different sounds. Even if they good, you feel me? You only stand out when you can be identified. Yep. You get what I'm saying? So. Mm -hmm. 
the more you original and you have your own, whether it's your own sound or you you can rep, you represent where you're from, the bigger, you know what I'm saying, impact you're going to have. And that's the biggest uh, advice I can give because yeah, yeah. that's how you stand out. Even you can be real good sounding like something else and you can make it that way, but it ain't going to have a bigger impact than if you come out with your yeah, own, original, you know what I'm saying? Just that, that's what either. you do. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. You yeah, exactly. You got to be... And that's why I say people like even Mo Three, like Mo Three is Mo Three. You know what I'm saying? Like he he's he from Dallas. You know what I'm saying? Even even when you want to talk about like a a trapping yellow, they from Dallas. You, mm-hmm, you mm-hmm. just know whether you like they music or not or whatever, you can identify them. You know what I'm saying? And that yeah. identity is the biggest thing about this. That's what I liked about Sauce Walker because when he first came out of Houston, he was the first person to come out of Houston in a long time that just hit, okay, it's that's Sauce way. Walker. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Whether you like the way he rap or not, mm-hmm. you knew who he, he just he had like identity. Own, yeah, Everybody identity. else was coming out. It, it, they was from Houston, but it, I just you can't just pick them out. You know what I'm saying? And that's the biggest thing you can have as an artist is but just an identity. You, that, you, you're talking about yourself. You know, yeah, that's, that's how I came out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, about. identity. You know what I'm saying? So that's my biggest advice. If you yeah. come with just your own identity, which is really just being yourself. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And being yeah. standing on identity. that. Most people don't think self awareness. Mm-hmm. Most people think they have to pounder and cater to whatever's popping, whether they admit that or not. Like, mm-hmm. You don't have to. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's why you get somebody that like somebody can come out right now less talented than a lot of people. If they got their own identity, they're mm-hmm. gonna pop. You know what I'm saying? Faster. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just because you can identify. Them. So I tell everybody, look, identity is the most important thing. Why my face so fresh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Saying, that's, me, that's me and Mo3. Yeah, you know that's that, 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 that 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 when I was playing that night. It just came back to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, B- I'm a B- little older, I remember. b Watch recorded that. Matter of fact, we got a man three. Me and so three fresh. got a record that I ain't even released yet. Are you I'm, serious? Yeah, yeah. It's hard so you going to let it out? Yeah, I'm going to let it out at some point. Hopefully, I can get it out this year. So, so yeah, I wanted to talk about just give us yeah. a brief because I know I'm, I won't keep you too long, but. Uh, on the next projects that's uh, coming up and coming, the ones we gotta watch for. So uh, this summer, I'm a, I'm gonna I'm gonna put out a Duro Music album. Okay. Uh, we just put out the first single, which is a record called "Hit a Lick." Man, Sauce Walker. Wow. You know what I'm saying? We really went back to the Texas sound. You know what I'm saying? Like you gotta leave me with Sauce Walker because I I know some people that know him, but I yeah, gotta yeah. get to him. We're gonna shoot a scene for the video out here. You bring it. I need to get. That's what I need to know. We're, we're, you know what I'm right saying? Come through. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, pull up. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna try and get that. Shoot that like this month. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I go to L. A. And then when I come back, I'm gonna try and shoot well, that. You, hey, Oakland yeah. embraced you a lot, didn't he? Yeah, Oakland. That's who first, got That's you. who blew up our screen paint job. Oakland. Oh, I remember. Yeah, yeah. Shout to Oakland. You thought they thought you were from out there almost? No, no, I wasn't trying. To hear that, yeah, cause I was on, the, on that fast beat, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I thought I was from Oakland, but uh, shout out to them. But yeah, the Duro Music album gonna drop this summer. Uh, is really, I mean, if you listen to the Hit a Lick single and, and just that cadence, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Uh, the album called Star Baby, okay, you know what I'm saying? Star and, Baby, and, the, and and one of the, the intro of the song called Star Baby, and I redid the Bar Baby, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, so like it's that sound, that's what the that's what the Duro Music album is, and then I'm dropping a 6 3 album. At the end of the summer, later on, it's probably gonna be more like an EP, and it's gonna be more like what I'm doing with the the 24/8, the Twerk Ward. You know what I'm saying? Brand is kind of just more more clubbish, more up tempo, mm-hmm. more bangers. You know what I'm saying? So both of them dropping. They, when they, you they drop both them, dropping. you make sure when they drop, you come back by here. I got oh, yeah, something yeah. I want to bless you anyway. Sure. It's something I'm trying to do. So when I call you back, like I got a little running coming back, you are gonna see. I always just try to bless y'all, man, because. Y'all, hey man, y'all mean everything to what the city represents. You know what I mean? Without 100%. y'all, we wouldn't be where we at, man. 100%. So I gotta definitely get you back on here when them projects drop. You just gotta promise me you gonna come back. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, most definitely. What about what, what you? What, you got anything else you want to yeah. add? Who better six three or the row? Oh, who man, better? Man, that's crazy because that's gonna be, <laughs> that's gonna that's gonna be the that's gonna be the conversation with the album. I know, that's I, why I said to, no. To be honest with you, the reason why I even came up with the concept is because when I first dropped my album, my first album, when Ice Cream Paint Job came out and I did the album with Deal, and my, it was self-titled The Road Music, my fan base split up. Like, because oh, that album, if you go back and listen to it, it's only the only songs that are like Ice Cream Paint Job and Walk That Walk, Wired to the T, are those songs. The, yeah. other, the rest of the album is just real, like, substantial. It's way different from the bangers, right? <laughs> So my mainstream fan base came for those records. They came for Ice Cream Paint Job, Walk That Walk, Wired to the T, and a song yeah. called Trunk Bang with me and Tum Tum. They okay. came for them songs for the album. And and, and, and and I gained a whole different audience that just came to see the ones that was like, man, let me just see what this is talking about. 
I end up getting them fans. They end up loving the album, and the ones that came for them hits, they was disappointed that I didn't make a whole bunch of those yeah. bangers. So the difference is them bangers would be more like the 6'3 records. Yeah, yeah. And the road would be the other ones, other stuff, you know, the album records, you know what I'm saying? Wow. So my whole thing is to see what my fan, who is going to be the biggest. Because it's really going to be like the, the music going to be different, and they literally going to have two different fan bases. And by the end of the, after I dropped the 6'3 project, I know who the people rocking with the best. <laughs> Me personally, and that's like why the price gonna be me, person, mm -hmm. me price personally, gonna do this. Me personally, I like both though. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me as an artist, I'm not satisfied if I got. I can't do one and be satisfied. I got to do both. You feel me? Like sometimes I'm in the mood to just make straight bangers. I don't yeah, even yeah. want. I want to keep it simple. I want to have that energy. But then I, I'm then I'm not in the mood at all. Like I really want to. Create a craft music, you know. I really want to make some substantial, and those two different moods, and they two so, they two so different the visuals, sounds. The, the visuals on this on this, is it gonna be crazy? Because you know now you gotta. Yeah, I'm the nigga that think you're supposed to do a video with every song. I'm crazy. Oh, you know, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, the yeah, 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 Now yeah, the, yeah, the yeah, visuals yeah, yeah, are so yeah, yeah. important. Yeah, yeah. Like, we yeah, already yeah. started by shooting some of the videos. Like we already been shooting the Star Baby. We've been shooting a few of them, and the visuals different. Like the and six that, three, that, the six three visual is gonna be different from the DeRoe visual. But the budget you know is, is, is not as, like it used to be back in the days when you first started. Yeah, yeah on, the, on the visuals, is it? Yeah, unless you Come take on it now. there. Unless you take it there. But see, I got a good team of people okay. that we we you know we put them together right. You feel me? And I I spend more money on my actual music than I spend on anything else. So okay. like. You know what I'm saying? The more I you spend, put in, the more you get out. Yeah, I spend. If if, if I get a hundred thousand dollars, I put eighty percent of it in the, music in the music before I get a car or anything. Yeah, now, especially yeah. you know what I'm saying. Like, and I kind of always been that way. It's just like because I, I I spend for that mixing and mastering. You feel me? Yeah. Like my mixing and mastering is almost. 1500 per song You know what I'm yeah. saying 2000 a song Just for one song Shout out to KY You know what I'm saying Seth Ferkins He passed That was Seth Ferkins was me and Future Engineer He been mixing all my stuff For years He yeah. passed And KY Been mixing it But like I spent on that So even for a video When it comes to these New concepts Now that I'm doing I spend on that So they are gonna be Bigger budgets So you gonna push it up You gonna some, run it up some, Majority of them Some okay. of them don't Some of them you don't you don't depending have to. You don't yeah. have to. Depending you know what I'm saying? On the song. Depending on the song and where you're going with it, some stuff don't even spoke, need to have. Married a, all that. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? So it just depends on that. But with this album, it's a lot being put into it. That's wait, why it's been taking me so long to get it out. Like, yeah. Even with this South Walker record, man, it took me a long time to get it out. I, I had to wait. get it mixed right. I had to get that. You know what I'm saying? The concept. So that's what take a long time when you're trying Listen, to do it man. that way. You Anything feel me? you doing in Texas, man, like that with you and South Walker, nigga, I'm with it. I'm yeah, all yeah, the way yeah, yeah. live. Nah, we for the turn to Texas way back up because really I want to see the whole. My goal is, is 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 Texas and Dallas, and then I'm mixing it with the stuff I'm doing in LA. In LA. Yeah, they but, always but, rock with us. Yeah, though. but I really want to see Texas get back on that just Texas shit. You feel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even if you do it in your own way, that's what I want to see new artists do. Like Dallas shit, Texas shit. Even I want to even see the Houston artists on that yeah, Houston yeah. shit. That's what I, I like. I had Trilly Polk, B Banks, and me yeah, yeah, like, like been Trilly driving Polk. up. They've been driving up. They came right yeah, on the I platform. Like they Trilly came Polk. straight he, he here. Like he hit me up last he like, night. He like yeah. the new Charlie yeah. boy. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. yeah I, there's some I, I people here in Trilly Dallas, Bo man. Oh yeah, Dallas. No shame. He he was just on here. He do the hooks, man. There's yeah. a lot of stuff you can you do with the artists here. Huh? Chili Pope. Chili Pope. Yeah, Come I on, do, man. Stop yeah, yeah. playing, I, man. I met Chili Chili Pope, man, randomly some years ago, like at a uh, little open mic thing. You know what I'm saying? I just went to go pull up on Kiati. Shout out to Kiati, and I met Chili Pope, and he he was doing this song. Nigga, was real, wasn't he? And it, it, it was hard. I was just like, yeah, I heard Charlie. I, I just heard the Charlie boy, and they but, did one together too. Oh, for real? Yeah, yeah. yeah I that's, just that's, talked to him about it. For real, I I want to hear that. You know what I'm saying? And they signed. Don't sound as much as you would think. Men, we had that conversation. Nah, yeah, you, yeah, you, you right. When they but, get uh, together, it don't sound the same. Yeah, yeah, but you can tell the influence. But you can tell the influence. I, I, like, I like it. I like that Trinity Pope took that rap. But that's what I'm talking about. I like niggas don't people don't know that that's what's going. You're gonna win from that in Texas, even from Dallas. That the Dallas shit, Texas shit, you're gonna win from that. Way more than that you originality. think. Originality. Way more than you think. Way more than you think. Man, everybody man. think the no opposite question. though. Motherfuckers got no question. Oh. Okay. You yeah, ever gonna put both of them on the same uh, record? Put a uh, uh, six three and Daron on the same record? So yeah, <laughs> it's crazy you say like that. It. So when it's I damn. when I first came out with we'll Walk That Walk, right? I lit people always used to ask me who was on the second verse because I rapped on the second verse and the whole song is like a me monotone, you know. Wow. While I'm kind of like singing monotone. And I didn't have an identity yet. People didn't know me then, you know what I'm saying? But so you don't you just hear this song that's popping in the clubs 
and you hear it all one way, and then on the second verse you you hear somebody rapping, and people used to always Who say that. Second verse? And then like as I started making this a uh, lot of the music. I actually can make uh, 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 the road in six three on the same song because wow. the difference between them is really they uh, their approach. You feel me? Like six three, the six three shit is just more like it. it, it, it it's just more savage. The road is more like if if, if the road had a girl and six three had a girl. They'll be completely different with them. Type you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. So the it's really the approach. approach. You going when I drop the music, when the albums come you out, you're gonna know the difference. That's the that's the only that's the only way I can really explain it because when you hear this album and then play this album, you're gonna be like, okay, now I really know the difference. Until then, it's kinda like a enigma, which is cool too, because it wow. keep people ask me all the time, like, who is six three? That's why it's on my Instagram. I, I like say it. who is six three. I like it. You know what I'm saying? Because the music gonna explain it. You feel me? And uh, that's that's what I'm waiting for. Man, so I, by, by the end of this summer, everybody, uh, everybody will know. You know what I'm saying? My bad. Everybody will know uh, the difference. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. Say, man, check it, man. Yeah, yeah. So, no, I but right. I just say, man, you know, uh, you keep doing your thing, man. And, and, and you at home, man. Uh, hey, at Unique Fashions, a.k.a. Boss Talk 101, you at the house, man. And and that's why I had to get you through here because I know, man, like I said, there's certain people in the city. I'm, I, I've been shooting that Tom Tom. Big Tuck, you know what I mean? Yeah. It, it's certain people I want to get on this platform because yeah. cause it, Tom, it, it built the... Yeah, yeah, I get Tom to come through. Matter of fact, shout out to Tom. We, we actually working on a project, you oh, know yeah? what I'm saying? And, and uh, I'm mad because I ain't... Me and him started working on a project and then I had to go back to L.A. and man, him ain't really been able to just like rock like, like how we was. But, you know what I'm saying? Now that it's on my mind, like now that I got this album like almost done, I can really focus on the project, man, Tom Tom working on, so... Yeah, man, Tom. Uh, uh, I like Tom because he back. He back working. He back getting to hey, it. Do you uh, have any female artists work with? Yeah, actually, I do. I actually got a. Uh, so, man, I kind of don't want to put because we working on something right now, and 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 I want to introduce her with the music. But it's a, it's a it's an artist in L. A. and it's an artist that's from Dallas that's in Cali right now. That's they both females that I'm working with, and uh, I'm, I'm just trying to get their whole little sound right, and I'm gonna introduce them. Yeah. What yeah, about yeah. Megan? You work with Megan Stallion? Oh, hell yeah. I, I, I definitely yeah, work, work with Megan. Yeah, yeah. Work, Megan, America, you know what I'm saying? People, yeah, always, work, people, always try, people always tell my Megan yeah. Stallion, you know, like when she first came out, they always be like, Megan Stallion sound like DeRoe. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, but no, nah, I, I like Megan Thee Stallion because even when you really think about it, she really the first female Texas rapper. Like, on, I can't really think of nobody. I might be missing somebody. I'm talking about to the, especially to the masses, but even to the state of Texas, I can't think of a female rapper that you can identify with Dallas or Houston. And it, uh, I know it, you by right. Uh, let me think. You know it, what I mean? It's crazy because I did just like that. You nah. would think you would think that it was one night I was thinking right. I was like, Megan Thee Stallion is actually the first female rapper Damn. from Texas. Mm -hmm. It ain't no other one that. Of course, you know we Shout had females that been Stallion. rapping. Don't get no, me wrong. No, no, but she's the, the, she's like the first that. one to come out as a female rapper. rapper. She's the first one. Yeah, so that's crazy. The fact that you know we done had all this Texas history and it ain't never oh, been a I sure female. Don't want to miss no. Erica ain't no rapper. Erica Badu ain't no rapper. No, yeah, and not, Erica not and her. Beyonce. You know those singers. Not you know rapper. what I'm saying? They they so like she the first rapper yeah, from Texas. Well, so when I thought about that, I was like, damn, that she really the made. Shout history. out to Megan you know Stallion, saying? that rapping girl out of Texas. She Shout out to, to uh, this, she thinks she the she thinks she the girl Pimp C too. Yeah, yes, I mean she kind of would. Yeah, she I mean she. You can tell. You can hear in Megan Thee Stallion that she from Texas. That's what I like. Yeah. No matter what, he, no matter how mainstream she go, you can tell, you can identify as a Texas female rapper. Yeah, just, man. just the whole I, cadence. I, I love the fact that 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 these these, these internet waves have made it where. You know, you the platform made it where you can you can do whatever. So monetize mm -hmm. and capitalize on all that. How you how you doing in that stretch? Oh, that's the best thing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that direct you to consumer. Like, like, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, that I mean the, the pandemic was good. You feel I mean well when it yeah, came to yeah, that was good yeah, it and was. bad. But like you know, my streaming and all this stuff, that's when I done really learned about the streaming and you know, I'm I'm cool with with the shows cut off, the streaming went up. You know what wow. I'm saying? So like, that's what I like about it. You know what I'm saying? I learned really, uh, I done learned more about the digital world in the last year than I knew way prior to that because wow. of the pandemic. You know, we had no choice. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me so, too. So yeah, you know, I, the streaming, the streaming, the streaming wave is cool. You know, you still gotta make quality music though. Yes, sir. It still come down to the product. You know what I'm saying? It come down to the music at the end of the day. 
Yeah. Well, hey, man, I'm going to tell you something, man. I just appreciate you for coming on the show, man. Boss Talk 101, you you now Boss Talk 101 approved. You know, that's a whole nother level I appreciate of being that. approved, man. You here now, man. Appreciate so it. So we appreciate just, you know, uh, shout out to the ones that be coming through here, man, blessing the whole platform like the road music, man. Hey, man, it's been another great segment, man, of Boss Talk 101. Uh-huh. <laughs>